Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free CompTIA a certification training course on preventive maintenance. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to go through our 22701 Essentials Exam requirement from Section 2.5, where we need to integrate some common preventive maintenance techniques. We're going to go through a lot of different pieces, everything from the physical inspection and updates all the way down to power devices and backing up your system. One of the first steps you can do is to schedule preventive maintenance for your computer. Get it on your calendar so that you know exactly when it's going to happen. You may even want to have it revolve around a particular day, maybe at a certain time of the year, maybe when your clock changes for daylight saving time, if that's something that you do. Maybe it's based around a spring cleaning time or something that occurs during the winter time. In any case, have something that's always scheduled and available. Another thing to think about is not all preventive maintenance must all be done at the same time or needs to be done at the same time. Some of these things are done every day, some every week, some every month, some every quarter, some every year. So you want to add this to your calendar in ways that make sense and have that so that you're always going to know exactly when that preventive maintenance is going to happen. One of the easiest preventive maintenance that you can do is to physically inspect the system that you're using. Look on the outside of it. Make sure there's no dust that's accumulated around your fans. Make sure that the airflow through your system is working properly. It's one of the best things you can do, especially in a laptop environment. Make sure all of your cables are well organized. I know that over time, you're adding and removing things. It turns into a bit of a rat's nest. One of the best things you can do to help troubleshoot and maintain a good working system is just get some ties and tie those cables together to make sure they all stay straight and that nothing happens to pull out and you, then you can't find where it goes. That's just a mess. So make sure that the external part of your system is optimal. Also look on the inside. If you can open up your laptop or your desktop system, make sure there's no dust in there. You may want to blow that out. Take your computer outside and give it a good dusting. Uh, make sure that all of the dust is blown away from those very sensitive components. You really don't want to get in there and jostle too much around or vacuum anything up, especially when there are components that can break off the motherboard or other components that are inside of that. And on the inside, this system's always running. It's always vibrating. There's always fans that are blowing air. You may want to go and make sure all of the connections are still nice and tight inside of that computer so that you don't have a fear of those popping out at any time. From a hardware and an operating system perspective, updates become incredibly important. We know that there are driver updates that may occur at any time. You may get new printer drivers, new video drivers, new keyboard and mouse drivers. You want to stay up to date with those. The firmware of your system, the BIOS, isn't something that really updates too much. But if you run into a bug or a problem, or there's a new operating system or new capabilities that comes out, you may want to take advantage of those by upgrading the BIOS. And the best place to go for that is right to the manufacturer's website. The operating system generally gets updates all the time. It really doesn't matter what operating system you're using. There are at usually a minimum of monthly updates for those things. Most of those automatic updates can be configured right from the control panel to happen automatically. You can check every day and make sure you've got always the latest updates for your operating system. The security updates are incredibly important. Usually those are included with your automatic updates. But security updates go well beyond the normal OS updates that might fix a bug, because security updates will make sure that nobody can get into your system who's not authorized to do so. If you're working in an environment where there's a lot of dust or you've had your computer around for a while, it may be time to clean it up a little bit. So you want to be sure that you're also using detergents and things that are very neutral. You don't want to use anything that's got a lot of alcohol in it or a lot of ammonia in it. Those things can eat away at some of the plastics that are on our computing devices. Stay away from the isopropyl al alcohol if at all possible. That is only used in very specific situations. It will very quickly eat away some of the coloring and some of the plastics that are on our modern laptops and desktop computers. There are specialized vacuums that are data vacuums or computer vacuums that try to minimize the amount of static electricity that builds up. You can't get rid of it completely, but it's nice to have a system that is specifically designed to avoid a lot of that type of static electrical feedback. There is always a need to maintain ventilation through your computer. And if you get that vacuum or compressed air to get rid of all that dust, that's a great way to make sure that it's able to have that airflow that cools your computer as efficiently as possible.